there are many possibilities. I, mean, I, I think uh, 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 my entire pedagogy in some way has been shaped by uh, uh, an awareness of genre and as, as I've become more and more aware of genre, it's had more and more of a shaping effect on it. Um, maybe I'm going to change the question like what are the, to what are the consequences of an awareness of genre on, on pedagogy. Um, so um, one of the consequences uh, of uh, my particular take on genre is that, it, um, of course, every writing task you ask students to do is in a genre. But if you think of it as a social action and a motivated social action, then you have to place the teaching of writing itself within motivated social action so that uh, thing that the student will uh, want to give shape to a meaning and work hard to not just uh, will recognize the value of the genre you're asking them to write in they will see they will you can talk about what is intended by this and how people might perceive it and then the students also like to work much harder at realizing the potential of the kinds of utterances to be made in that genre. Then that leads to a question not just of um, finding isolated assignments but the entire environment of the class within which um, uh, these genres arise which leads to thinking back activity system and um, the kind of given activity systems of the classroom, but also the teacher's role in stage managing, in, in a sense, um, the entire classroom, so as to create motivating situations with uh, meaningful, sensible um, genres for students to work at in their teaching of writing. I, I, would, I would certainly agree with everything that Professor Bazerman has said, and I would just emphasize two key concepts here that I think genre as a foundation for teaching um, first language, uh, whether first uh, whether writing or speaking or or, or other modes, um, and that those two key concepts are engagement and motivation. Uh, genres ought to provide ways for students to engage with communicative tasks, and they at the at the same time and by the same token. Uh, should provide ways for students to be motivated as speakers, writers, painters, or, or whatever genre you're, you're teaching them, bloggers, whatever. If I can point out a feature of both our answers that may, um, again, which uh, turns the question a little bit on its head. Um, some people sometimes think about L1 language teaching and L2 language teaching as teaching the language. Mm -hmm. I, I think and you'll have to confirm that this is, mm -hmm. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but um, uh, uh, at least I think of uh, L1 language teaching as teaching the student or helping the student become a more skillful, flexible, varied kind of user of writing. So it's language development of the student uh, through um, interaction in various contexts with a task of various challenges. So it's not teaching a language, it's teaching an art to a person. Mm -hmm. It's teaching language use yes. in situated context. Yeah.